Welcome. This video will demonstrate step-by-step -step instructions on how to create a parent portal account. Before you begin, you will need your student's permanent ID, your primary telephone number, and your student's verification code. You can obtain these with your school site parent liaison or office clerk. At our junior high and high schools, you can also obtain the verification code and student ID with your student's academic counselor. If you have more than one student in the school district, it is important to note that each student has his or her own verification code and permanent ID number. Go to the Pittsburgh Unified School District website by typing www.pittsburgh.k12.ca.us. Click on the Parents tab on the right-hand side of the screen. From here, you can click on the link under Aries Parent Portal. If you would like to see written instructions, you can select the link under Aries Parent Portal Instructions. On this page, you can select the link under Downloadable Instructions by clicking on English. This will provide you with written instructions on how to create a Parent Portal account. If you prefer not to read the instructions and want to continue on to the setup of the Parent Portal account, you can click on the logo that says Aries. This will take you to the sign-in page. Click where it says Create New Account. Before you continue, open a separate tab and log into your email. You should then be on the Account Type window. Please make sure that the Parent button is selected. You can then click on the Next button. Now you are on the Account Information page. Please note, if you do not have an email address, you will need to create an email address using an email provider of your choice. It is important that the email you enter does not belong to your student. The Parent Portal account and the Student Portal account are separate accounts. In addition, all communications sent via email by the school district or the school site are sent to the parent email address you entered when you registered your student at the beginning of the school year. If you need to update your email address on file, please go to your school site's front office to make that change. On the account information page, you will need to type in your email address and then type it in a second time to verify it. Next, you will need to create and type a password of your choosing. Then type the password again to confirm it. Now, click on the Next button. This will bring you to the email verification page. You will receive an email with the verification code. The email that you will receive will be titled Aries account verification. Please note, this may take a few minutes. If after several minutes you have not received the account verification email, please check your spam folder. You should receive an email titled Aries account verification. You will need to open the email to obtain your email code. Once you open the email, click on the link that says confirm this email address. The email will include an email code. You can either copy and paste this over the email verification page or type it in manually. If you are unable to click the link, you can copy and paste this URL into your web browser address. You should now be on the email verification page. Type in your email code, then click the next button. This will bring you to the final step page. Click where it says return to login page. You will now log into your parent portal account using the email address and password that you created. Type in your full email. Now click the next button. Type in your password and then click the sign in button.
You should now be on the student verification page. Enter your student's permanent ID number, your primary telephone number, which you entered when you registered your student at the beginning of the school year, and your student's verification code. Click Next. You should now be on the Emergency Contact Verification page, Step 2. You will need to highlight what relationship you have to the student from the names that are listed. Once you highlight the appropriate section, click on the Next button. You should now be on Step 3, which confirms the Parent Portal account is now linked to your student. If you have another student in the district, you can click on the button that says Add Another Student to Your Account to add them to the same Parent Portal account. Siblings can be linked to the same Parent Portal account. You will need to enter the student's permanent ID number, the primary telephone number, and the student's verification code for each of your students. Again, please note that each student has his or her own permanent ID and verification code. Congratulations! You have now created a Parent Portal account. Please click on the button that says Tour the New Student Profile page to watch a short video clip on what the Parent Portal includes. The remainder of this video will give you a quick snapshot of what the Parent Portal looks like. You may also want to view our next video on how to navigate through the Parent Portal. You will notice at the top of the Parent Portal page there are several tabs titled Home, Student Info, Attendance, Grades, Test Scores, and Change Student. The home screen will provide a summary of the student's grades, attendance, and standardized test scores. As you scroll over the Student Information tab, you will notice that another menu appears, which you can select to view the student profile, demographics, contact information, and sibling information. To view your student's attendance, click on the Attendance tab. You will see an attendance summary which highlights absences and tardy occurrences. As you scroll down the page, you will be able to view the attendance record for the entire school year. In this example, the attendance record is for a student who is enrolled at one of our elementary schools. The attendance summary for a student in one of our junior high or high schools will look different as a student attendance is taken for every class period as demonstrated on the next slide. The attendance record you see in this example is from a student at one of our secondary sites. Again, you will notice that the attendance summary will look different for an elementary student compared to a junior high or high school student. In this example, you will see six dashes for every school day. Each dash represents a class period. There are six class periods in a day. There is also a guide or key to the attendance codes and a year-to-date attendance summary toward the bottom of the screen. The next tab is the Grades tab, where you will be able to view your students' grades. Please note that the Parent Portal is new for our elementary schools. As such, not all grades may be entered into ARIES yet. For any student in our junior high or high schools, you will be able to view grades for each of your students' class periods. After the Grades tab, there is a Test Score tab, where you will be able to see information on your students' standardized tests. The final tab is the Change Student tab. If you have more than one student in the school district and have linked all your students to your Parent Portal account, the student's names will appear here. You would then highlight the student whose information you would like to view next. Research shows that when parents monitor their students' academic progress and school attendance regularly, students maintain good attendance throughout the school year and have, a high, and have higher test scores and better grades. 
The online parent portal is just one tool that you can use to monitor your students' overall academic progress and school attendance. Maintaining regular communication with your students' teachers, school site administrators, and academic counselors is also key to ensure student success. Should you have any additional questions regarding the parent portal or how to connect with school or community resources, please feel free to contact your school site parent and family liaison. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.